Okay, and how long have you been doing the um, apple butter? This is festival? its 40th year, and I've been involved since the beginning. Um, and basically, it's to promote. It's to promote um, apple butter. Am I correct? It's actually to promote like heritage and our just our history and apple butter being part of that. It's kind of evolved from there. Okay. Um, if, do you want to tell you how it began? Yes. Okay. It began. There was a group of citizens in town, and they formed um, a heritage society to try to preserve the tall town hall, the tall brick building in town. Mm -hmm. It was kind of getting run down, and they were talking about tearing it down. Down, so they all got together and wrote up a grant from the federal government to get funds to rehabilitate it. After they were able to accomplish that, they sat around and said, well, we need to do more things to preserve our heritage, our history. And so they formed a group, and they were just sitting around one day, and they said, why don't we, let's all just get together one weekend and make some apple butter, mm -hmm. give it out to neighborhood people. And so the very first one, they made apple butter in a church parking lot gave it away in little cardboard containers like you get Chinese food with. And that was the first one. And then it's just kind of grown and grown. And our goal is to keep preserving the heritage. We want to make it, people can come here and it's inexpensive. Almost all of our children's activities are free. Pony rides, pay rides. Families can come and just enjoy being with each other. And I see you guys added the, um, the reenactment. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to be doing a reenactment, or did you, has it already happened? They, the reenactors, we ask them every year, and a small group comes every year, but they don't have the forces yet to actually put on a whole, like a battle reenactment. Okay. So they just reenact the...